6 Weather is brought to you by Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville. Visit AztecAutoplex.com. Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being with us. Here's your Aztec Chevrolet forecast. Our one shoreline sky cam looking off to the west shows some breaks in the overcast. Yes, we saw a little sun. Temperatures moved up nicely to the upper 70s here today. 79 degrees, a full 40 degrees warmer than it was this time on Monday afternoon when we had 39 degrees. Big change in less than a week. Wow. 72 right now in Corpus Christi, 69 in Ingleside, cooler near the water. The seawater temperature just 54 degrees. That's not a good sign for spring break, although the weather's going to be pretty decent here this weekend, all things considered. Temperature change, we're 14 degrees warmer, so we're headed in the right direction with this warming trend than we were yesterday. Dew point temperatures are up in the 60s after being in the 20s and 30s on Monday and Tuesday. Southeast, the winds at 16 miles an hour, bringing in that low-level moisture. And with the winds picking up and driving more warm air over the cool shelf waters, we're going to see more fog tonight than we had last night. Visibility is here in town no lower than 6 miles. It's already down to 4 in Hebronville, and we will see some fog later tonight, and again, more so than last night. And we'll be running about one to three miles around midnight and then zero to three miles around uh, daybreak tomorrow. So we are going to see the fog. Temperatures will settle into the upper to mid 60s between now and midnight. We won't drop a whole lot more uh, than that with a very warm air aloft uh, moving over South Texas. 65 degrees will be the low temperature here. 64 in Refurio, about 62 in George West. Home of StoryFest. Warm temperatures across the region uh, with the uh, warm front up to the north. Here's a Pacific front that will approach the area on Saturday. About a week ago, it was looking like that would move on through. Now I think it's going to stall and dissipate over the region. We do have this trough along the coast, not very strong. And with that, uh, it will uh, pretty much go away over time. We'll see a couple sprinkles here in the morning with the drizzle, mist, and fog. Then warm and humid with some breaks in the overcast again tomorrow afternoon. But the winds are going to pick up as this front gets closer. Low pressure deepens, so the pressure gradient tightens. So the winds go up when you have a tight pressure gradient. And then we look into Saturday morning. Again, maybe a couple sprinkles there. But the main action up here in North Texas and into the Plain States where the weather will be severe. Saturday afternoon, that moves on. The front starts to break up. We see the sun. We're talking about mid 80s. This is going to be pretty decent at the beach. Not mid 80s, but it'll be pretty decent. Then as we get to uh, Sunday morning, the clouds come back because of the front dissipating as opposed to blowing through with dry air behind it, not making it in. So another front's going to arrive here on Tuesday. This one's coming in uh, hot and to the south, and that means we're going to see some thunder showers and maybe some thunderstorms here Tuesday night and Wednesday. In the meantime, look for pretty light winds here by the time we get to the morning all the way into the weekend with the exception of tomorrow afternoon. NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast, 65 tonight, 79 and windy tomorrow. 68 and 82 Saturday, 79 still pretty nice on Sunday in spite of the clouds picking up late in the day. Showers Monday and Tuesday and then thunderstorms here Tuesday night into Wednesday. And by the time we get to the end of next week, Lee, it's going to get cold again. But we're looking warm for tomorrow. All right. Thank you very much.